Let's take a deeper dive into how flow can be used in studying a cleanroom design. In this instance, we want to ensure that there is sufficient ventilation to exhaust toxic gases that are being generated. The setup is very easy. Flow gives us the ability to specify as many different gases or liquids as needed. In this case, we have methane gas being generated in the room from some chemical reaction. When we set up the boundaries of the room, such as the air vents at the bottom of the walls, we just specify the concentration of the relevant gases. In this case, it's just pure air entering the room through the vents. Conversely, the concentration is pure methane where the chemical reaction is taking place. But you can have as many different gases and concentration combinations as you need to observe the mixing taking place. We also have an exhaust fan sucking air out of the room. SolidWorks Flow provides many different tools to understand what is taking place. With a section plot, we can look at different result characteristics such as mass fraction of the methane in the air, or we can change that to look at velocity, or the pressure in the room. We can see that we have a pressure gradient caused by the fan, but is it enough to minimize the spread of the methane gas in the room? Looking again at the mass fraction, we can see that above a certain concentration level, the methane gas is spread over the top portion of the room. Flow trajectories give us an easy way to see where the air is flowing into the room, which can aid in positioning and sizing of the vent. Looking just at the flow generated from the methane source, we can see that it does recirculate around the top of the room before exiting, so a change is needed for the exhaust fan. Isosurfaces are another powerful way of identifying the boundary for where the methane concentration is a concern. If we compare this with a higher speed exhaust fan, we can clearly see that the area of concern is significantly reduced. The flow trajectory of the methane gas reinforces this, showing that it is being directly evacuated from the room with minimal recirculation. We've shown how SolidWorks Flow provides an incredible insight into room ventilation design, and all within the SolidWorks design environment. To see in more detail how flow simulation can help you, please contact your reseller or visit SolarWorks.com.